Long, long ago in Nottingham, England, there was a king named Richard. King Richard was a wise and generous king. The town of Nottingham loved their king. The kingdom was rich and prosperous. But one day, when King Richard was traveling to another town, his ship was lost at sea. Days, months passed, but no news of the king or his ship came. The town mourned for their beloved king. In King Richard's absence, his younger brother, King John, was made to sit on the throne. But King John was nothing like his elder brother. He increased the taxes and took all the money from the poor. The town started to become poorer and poorer with each passing day. Nottingham had lost its hope. But as they say, with every injustice, a hero is born. Robin Hood was a young boy who lived in the Sherwood Forest near Nottingham. He had a group of friends called the Merry Men. After watching the injustice done by King John, Robin took it upon himself to help his people. He used to rob the royal carriage to steal from the king. He and his men would then distribute the stolen wealth back to the poor people. Every time a royal carriage passed the forest, Robin and his merry men would appear out of nowhere. Oh, I hope Robin Hood is very, very sleepy today. I hope he doesn't hear me passing this forest. Shh! Tony, where are you making so much noise? Slow down! Uh, but sir, how can I ask the horses to walk slow? Robin Hood can also hear our footsteps. We are walking on land, sir. It cannot be noiseless. Oh, shut up! But the minister was right. Robin and his merry men could hear them all. And suddenly... Oh no! Thief! Thief! I'm not a thief. You are. This is poor people's money, not yours. Quickly hand over the money, or you will be harmed. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I'm give up. Merry men, go took all the money. After Merry Man took all the money, suddenly the King's Richard, niece Lady Marion, came out from royal carriage. Hey, what happened? Who are you? The beauty Lady Marion make Robin Hood love at first sight. I'm, I, who are you? Um, I'm Marion. Are, are you Robin Hood? Guilty as charged. Now go and tell your king, people of Sherwood are not alone. Come on, let's get moving. Thanks God for Robin Hood, Jasmine. We owe our lives to him. Do you want to keep your job or not? He has done it again. All our money and gold is gone. That gun has done it again. I want him arrested right now. We we have tried, Your Highness, multiple times, but they just disappeared. Are you saying you can do this then? No, I will do it. I will arrest Robin Hood. He is my enemy. Give me one more chance, Your Highness. Do whatever you have to. I don't care. I want him arrested. The sheriff was furious. He decided to lie down a trap for Robin. The sheriff knew that there was only one way to make Robin Hood come to the palace himself.
The only way, Lady Marian. Lady Marian was King Richard's niece. She was a beautiful and strong woman. Robin, have you heard? The sheriff is organizing an archery contest. The winner gets to marry Lady Marion. Ha ha ha! The sheriff is so stupid. This is obviously a trap. Everybody knows that Robin Hood is the best archer. We are not going, right Robin? But Robin wasn't listening to Tuck. Did you say Lady Marion, Little John? The best archer gets to marry the beautiful Lady Marion? No, Robin. They will arrest you if we go to the castle. But how will they recognize us? I will disguise myself. Oh, boy. Wait a minute. I will not let you go alone. I will disguise myself as the Duke of Chutney so that I can get near King John. <laughs> Soon it was Robin's turn to raise his bow. He shot three arrows, one after another, and the crowd was shocked. All the three arrows had hit the center. The crowd cheered from this brilliant archer. Robin took his hood off and began to look for his Lady Marion. But just then... Arrest him! That's Robin Hood! <laughs> Catch you at last! Ah, no! But Robin wasn't scared. He knew his merry man very well. Seeing Robin arrested, Little John didn't remain silent. Then he settles to hold King John hostage. Not so soon, Sheriff. Let Robin go outside goodbye to your beloved King John. Ah! Uh, no! Please, let King John go. Let them go, Sheriff. I don't want to die. The shoulders release Robin Hood, so Little John releases King John. Robin and Little John run to the gate, but suddenly Robin saw Lady Marian and say, Marian, I will come for you. Wait for me. Always, Robin. Always. <laughs> Once in the forest, the merry man and Robin began to plan on how to get Lady Marian again. Just then, a boy from the village came running to Robin. Robin, they're arresting my father! What? Come on, let's go! It is the King Order. He has to repeat your taxes. If you can fight then, I have to arrest you. God, thanks your Robin Hood. He injured the King and now you have to fight for it. Robin Hood is a good man. He calls for us. Unlike yourself is King. He is a cruel man. How dare you arrest him? No, wait. It's me who you are looking for. Leave these people. No, Robin. We don't want you to go. Run away. No, let them arrest me. Robin, what are you doing? I may be stealing for a good cause, but it's still stealing. I don't want the children of this village to follow this road. You must all stand together and fight. This is the only way. Farewell, my men. I shall see you soon. Villagers were sad to have their hero leave, but the merry men were not going to give up on their leader. They followed 
the carriage from inside the mountains so that the shoulders don't see them. The Mighty Robin Hood, the protector of the poor, the provider, nonsense, you are a thief, a gun, a decoy. And what are you, your highness? You steal from the poor. Where does the tax money go? What is your palace doing with it? Just because you sit on the throne does not mean you steal poor people's money. I'm not a thief. The money I take belongs to my people. I return to them what is rightfully theirs. Let our highness King Richard return. He will see what to do with you. Throw him into the dungeons. The town of Nottingham was now in true danger. Their savior was captured. But will the merry men let King John win? Tuck, what are you doing? There's a fire! Ah! 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 Robin! Come, fast! The castle is on fire! Why do you want to help me? I don't like King John either. I was wrong about him. Let's go! Robin didn't trust the sheriff, but he had to escape the castle. He followed the sheriff to the roof. What now? Now I win. Ha ha ha. Where will you go now, Robin? The water down is deep and there are arches everywhere. I knew you were not to be trusted, sheriff. Goodbye. Ha <laughs> ha How stupid. He will never survive this. But Robin Hood survived. He swam through the canals and got out from the river in the forest. Oh, I hope my men are all fine. But back at the castle, something unexpected happened. King Richard had returned to his kingdom. After the fire was put out, the town of Nottingham had gathered in the castle to complain about King John and the sheriff. I apologize to my people. This will not be tolerated. You have to disappoint me, John. King John and Sheriff are arrested immediately. No, no, your highness, please. Oh, shut up. I command to release the merry man and take back all the charge on Robin Hood. In fact, a brave man like him should be rewarded. Bring him to the castle with honor. Richard soon realized that Lady Marion was in love with Robin Hood and wished to marry him. King Richard liked Robin Hood. He was more than happy to get his niece married a nobleman. Oh, your highness, I'm in love with Lady Marion. May I marry her? Then you have to ask her directly. Oh, beautiful Lady Marion, will you marry me? Of course, Robin, of course. And marry your daughter and make her my wife. I want her to be the only girl that I love for the rest of my life.
Robin Hood lived with Lady Marian in the forest of Sherwood. They were happy with their simple lives. They sing and dance with the people of Nottingham. Robin Hood and the Merry Men never stole again. The end. On the day that a merry dawn.